Hey everyone, it's Travis with Coyote Moon uh, coming to you today with a cool CSS hack that I found. Um, it is essentially a way to reduce the text font size for a specific element within mobile only. So for this example, we're looking at an H1 that's really uh, spanning beyond the three lines and is also like tailing over into a fourth line. So we don't like that. What we want to do is, uh, in, in this specific instance, I'm going to try to get my design portfolio to all live on two lines instead of four. Um, so if we look on it on desktop, we can see that it looks fine. It's on two lines. But mobile, um, since those font sizes are both for desktop and mobile specifically, um, 8 rem is far too large on mobile uh, to allow for this to uh, display on two lines. So with this CSS hack, we are going to target a specific block ID, which is this H1 on mobile only. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is pop into your CSS editor. And I am going to grab this code, which says at media only screen and max width colon 767px. Basically this is saying, hey, Squarespace, uh, I only want you to display this text size when this website reaches a threshold of 767 pixels, right? So that's the first thing. Um, and this is, again, a CSS hack for mobile only. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up some squiggly brackets. And the second step in this process is gonna be to find the specific block ID that you are targeting. In this instance, this is an H1 on mobile. So to find that block ID, I am going to show my full screen toolbar. And in the upper right hand corner, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but I have a Chrome plugin downloaded to my device that's called Squarespace Block Identifier or Squarespace Block ID. You can go to the Chrome store, go to a Google search to find it. It's a game changer. Um, but to my knowledge, this is the only plugin that's available that's going to showcase specific block IDs. Um, so go ahead and click the block ID, hover over your targeted element, which in this case is our H1 on mobile. And we can see right here that that is the block ID. If you click it, it copies it to the clipboard. And then we plug it directly into our CSS editor and we open up squiggly brackets once again, and we're gonna say H1, open your squiggly brackets, and we're gonna say font size, and let's see how it looks at 30 pixels. Wow. So you can see 30 pixels is a little small. What we want here is either to have it take up the full span and width of the page on mobile, which we can try here by maybe going at 35 pixels or 37 pixels. All right, so that looks pretty good. And then we would just drag this up, right, to match it. Like so. Something like that. Drag this up. So if we want it on one line, then we're good, right? We've basically just said, hey, Squarespace, I only want you to display this one block element that we've targeted through this block ID here. And I want you to display it at 37 pixels when this website reaches 767 pixels on the screen. So that's great. But what if we want it on two lines? If we want it on two lines, we might want to increase the size. Let's see what 55 looks like. 55 looks pretty good, right? That's what I wanted. I wanted two lines, just like mobile or just like desktop. So desktop has two lines. Now mobile has two lines. So that experience is pretty seamless. And we could probably even go bigger. See what 60 looks like. Let's see what 65 looks like. So as you guys can see, this is such a quick and easy way to target a specific block element within your Squarespace site and manipulate the size of that on mobile only. Um, I hope you guys found this video useful. If you have any other questions about working within the CSS editor, 
um, optimizing your site specifically for mobile, I'm always available. You can reach me at Travis at CoyoteMoonCreative.com. You can find my portfolio at CoyoteMoonCreative.com. And I would love to connect with you guys further. Thanks so much for watching.